Oh. I definitely did not mean to do that combo. Today we are continuing on our Road to Master series where we try to get to the highest rank in Street Fighter 6 with every single character in the game. And today's character is going to be Jamie. It's going to be the first character for Jamie. So the first half of the video is going to comprise of a character overview slash tutorial. And then it's going to get me started as I play my placement matches and try my best to get that diamond one rank. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for Jamie, which I'm actually surprised by because um, I thought that Jamie would wouldn't be as popular of a character since he seems pretty hard to use but I played him in the beta enough to uh, know a little bit about him so happy to share that with you all today before we get into it make sure to hit that subscribe button helps the channel out a lot and let's get into it right, the first thing when talking about Jamie is obviously going to be his drink system since it's a very integral part of how this character plays um, a lot of characters have like their own special mechanic I think Jamie is probably one of the most important to the character um, because it literally locks special moves behind having these drinks. Okay, I'm actually going to back up a second here. We'll talk about everything that he has um, in terms of special moves that he has in uh, the first base level and then we'll talk about each level um, as they go on since I think that actually makes the most sense. Okay, so in level one, Jamie has his DP. It's a great combo ender and also anti-air. Um, he's got his Rekkas. It's pretty safe on block. It's not technically safe because it's minus oh, it's minus six. I thought it was minus four. Uh, my bad. Okay, it's minus six. So most characters can punish if it's close enough, but the idea is that you're going to space it um, far enough that they can't actually punish. And they have the Ryu player on standing light punch on block right now. Um, and you can frame trap with the Rekka if you time it right. So there is an added mix up. Um, that if they try and press a button um, in between the Rekkas, then they can get counter hit. Uh, the Rekka is also the most easy, I think, way to get the drinks. So um, instead of going for the punch follow up, you can just press kicks after. Um, you have to press forward, kick, kick, and he'll take a drink and he'll get his first drink. Um, and we'll talk about the drinks in a second here. He also has a palm, which is backwards. Uh, quarter circle back and punch. Also great combo ender. Um, and also pretty good if you just space it out uh, because you can see it's minus six. And if you hit it like at the perfect range, so you can make it safe actually. And then the other special move that he has in his base level is to take a drink. So you can press two downs, the punch. If you hold it, you can take more than one drink. Um, I think I heard that you, like taking two separate drinks is faster than taking two drinks. I'm not completely sure though if that's the case. So if you take two drinks right here, it's 97 frames. Okay, it's not actually faster, but it's very slightly. It's basically about the same. So 100 total frames to take two drinks individually or 97 to uh, take two drinks by itself. And then we'll talk about one more thing, um, which is his sweep target combo because uh, he does get more target combos in each level. So we'll talk about the one that he has at the base level. Do two sweeps and then you do a punch. And he can take a drink. Okay, so the main ways you get drinks are with the Rekkas, in my opinion. So if you do like a palm, he's far enough away you can get a drink. If you do EX Palm, you can actually take two drinks and be pretty safe. Or you land a sweep and you take a drink like that. Okay, now say you are at level one. So what do you have now? Now you have access to a dive kick, which on EX, you can combo. Um, on regular even, I think you can get Stand Fierce. Okay, so you can get the follow up with the Stand Fierce. It's a little bit awkward to get the spacing. And you can even drive rush it something like that could even go into level three after also in level one you get another target combo that's amazing for jab confirm so ordinarily jab jab light kick into Rekka. but when you're already in level one you can do jab jab into the target combo um, and that's much better okay and then level two you get access to the breakdance move Forward circle forward kicks. It's mostly used for damage, but it also does have projectile invincibility. You can see it starts up on frame three for the late one, starts up on frame four for the medium, starts up on frame five for the heavy, 
for EX, starts with bottom frame 3. So EX is normally the best option because it goes pretty far and it goes, you know, pretty fast too. Uh, light, if you're kind of nasty with the reactions, can work too. So I have him throwing a fireball on wake up. Uh, let me just EX through it first. You can see pretty easy to react. If I try heavy, I can also do it with some good reactions. I couldn't get it that time. You can see the light is way easier to react, but you gotta be pretty close for it. It's not gonna work if you're too far. Okay, then say after two drinks, you get your third one. This one is extremely powerful because it gives you a command grab. There's a regular version and an EX version. The EX one gives you the most damage because you can get crouched fierce. And this is going to be great to close out a round with super because you can just go straight into your level 3. Uh, in the regular version, you just get stand medium punch into whatever you want. So you get a stand medium punch target combo into your breakdance. A level 3 also gives you access to this back fierce target combo, which is a little bit strange. Um, but basically the purpose of it is the back fierce like um, moves your hitbox back for a second so it can punish if your opponent's trying to hit you and you just step back for a second and punish them. I don't know exactly why you would finish the uh, why you would finish the target combo. I think the main point is to do this straight into super of any kind. So you could do this straight into level 1 for instance. Get a good amount of damage like that. But obviously Jamie mains will figure out a better use for it later on. And then level 4 is your most powerful level. It basically powers everything up. There's not just like one new move in it. It just powers everything up. So you can see your Rekas do like multiple hits now. You can see on block, it's minus 3 now. It's not, you don't even have to space it out. On your palm, you can do a forward and punch for a follow up. And this just increases your damage a lot. Especially off of EX command grab. This is what I like to do a lot. Um, because it just closes out the round in a very clean fashion if you have a level 3. On uh, level 4 he gets a very strange target combo where you do forward heavy kick um, and then you press back and kick and then you can press uh, punch for a, uh, a little headbutt move. I think it's good for combos mostly. Like I think you can do a drive rush into it and then it'll combo. So you do like this for max damage. It's a bit of a weird input. Um, so you basically get two heavies right there with that target combo. Um, I said it was weird. If you wait a little bit longer, it won't actually do that heavy punch. It'll do this weird crouching one. And if you do it even later, it'll basically just take a drink. And you might be wondering what drinking will do when you're at level 4. It basically just refills your drive gauge. Um, and if you're burnt out, I think it will uh, just make you less burnt out. Like it'll... Uh, give you uh, extra gauge for you to be closer to not being burnt out. Uh, I forgot to mention level 2 has a great target combo um, because it ha gives you an overhead that you can use to take a drink. I think the input is uh, forward medium kick, medium kick into heavy punch. So that's pretty much it for drink stuff so let's talk about combos a little bit. I already showed my basic jab combo. Let's do that. Get a nice little drink right there. Um, you can do the target combo into this. If you're in level 2, you can sub those out uh, basically for the breakdance special. For I think a little bit more damage. And I think at level 4, because the double palm is a thing, then palm palm actually becomes optimal. So it actually changes your basic uh, jab route as you get more levels. Uh, your basic dry rush combo, you can do stand medium kick, stand medium punch, uh, crowd fierce. So basically you loop the stand medium punch into crowd fierce. You can also do, I think, jabs into this. So you can um, start it like that. A more advanced dry rush combo that I've seen people use to get a drink. You combo into the launcher, which is uh, down in two kicks. So you do that this and you have to time the stand heavy punch it's a little bit tricky you have to delay it a decent amount well maybe this is harder than it was in the beta because i feel like i got it pretty consistently in the beta okay so you can get the drink you can see your plus four um if you want to make it easier just do this go for the sweep no need for the stand fierce uh, in terms of supers i wasn't really using level one that much 
Um, obviously you can just do it off of uh, a button. It's court circle forwards and kicks. So if you just need to cash out real quick and do a level one. Level two I also didn't use that much. Um, the reason being is because it takes away all of your drinks after uh, the level two finishes. Basically what level two does is you activate it. Um, it gives you an activation combo so you can like extend it. Uh, I think the easiest one after is you do palm, palm. Um, but as you can see, once you activate the level two, you are at um, four drinks. Uh, so basically you're expected to try and close out the round while you're in this state. Um, and the timer is going to go down once uh, the timer goes all the way down. You not only lose all four drinks, but any drinks that you had before, which is why you normally want to do it kind of like at the start of the round or if you're sure you're going to close out the round. And then level three is obviously the easiest one to use. You can do it off of any special. It's quarter circle four, three punches. Um, and Jamie's level three is special because if it's not the CA version, uh, when you have like less than 20% life, you have to uh, follow up with a combo on your own. So. Uh, basically, uh, the most normal combo uh, that I've seen, you drive rush into the launcher, jump heavy kick um, into uh, a DP. So pretty simple. And pretty good damage on it. If you want to spend another EX, you can do a jump medium punch into dive kick. This might just be me saying something that's completely wrong. Do the launcher. Delay, heavy kick, jump medium punch, and then... Oh, it's because I don't have any drinks. Okay, I need level 1. It's really weird doing training mode stuff, because you gotta have the correct number of drinks to do the stuff. So I need the level 1 to do the EX dive kick after, obviously. So launcher, delay, heavy kick. And that'll get you just a bit more damage on that. One last thing I've been seeing a lot of Jamie players do that I wasn't doing during the beta. They've just been drive rushing in stand heavy punch. Because stand heavy punch is a 5 frame move, it's super fast. Um, it just seems like a great way to drive rush in. You're plus 5 after, so you can do a jab after or another stand heavy punch if you want. Um, and it's plus 1 on block. So it's going to be your turn after. So that's pretty much it for everything that I know about Jamie. So let's go into these ranked matches for the placements. I'm hoping that I can get placed into Diamond 1. Uh, wish me luck in that and let's get started. It's okay, the first one's always warm up for these. Okay, he spends it. to be honest. Nice check, nice check. Oh, that doesn't have any range. DP for that dive kick, yup. Uh, 
asshole. <laughs> I definitely did not mean to do that combo. Actually, really good. The Pierce is so fast. I mean, do that. I could have done palm too, but one more, more break dance. Okay, when you're burned out, you can only do palm, I'm pretty sure. So my plan is to do palm and then dive kick. And dive kick again. <laughs> can find a hit into EX. Level 4 is so scary because it's basically command throw or not for like 30% each time. Fair enough, fair enough. That was guess for game. Both of them. Oh, I think I have to stand fierce, right? Okay, that's how our last placement match ends. Should be diamond though, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's try and get at least one game against you, noob. Nice. 
Bro, Jamie's buttons feel so stubby against me now. Like, I don't know what to press. But I think I should have just been dry rushing Heavy Punch more. Because I feel like that would have worked. Um, but I feel like that's a good set to end it on. Alright, so we placed Diamond 1. Hopefully that satisfied all of you guys that have been asking for Jamie. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more Jamie in the future. I'm guessing probably yes, considering how many people like those comments. Leave a like on the video. Leave a subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you in the next one.